Good evening and welcome to the first Wall Hawk Baseball broadcast of 2024. We welcome you inside the nest in Wall, Texas. I'm Russ Howard bringing you this broadcast courtesy of Concho Sports Network brought to you by First Community Federal Credit Union. So we got a good one here tonight. Beautiful night, a little windy, but uh, nevertheless, it's a great night for baseball. It's a little overcast, sun's still out, however, and it is a little little toasty in the broadcast booth, but uh, hey, that's why we do this. But we're going to go ahead and give you a little background on the Hawks this year. They have, coming off a year in 2023 when they went to the state championship for the second time in four years. Won it in 2019, lost in the regional quarterfinals in 21 and 22, and then made it all the way to the state title game last year. Lost in the final to Boyd, 6-4. to four. But if you haven't been paying attention to Wall Hawk baseball, you are missing out because they are creating a dynasty out here in Wall. Everybody talks about Wall Hawk football, but I'm going to tell you, this Wall Hawk baseball team is no slouch either. They have, if you look down on the dugout, Behind the dugout, you can see all the regional championships. You can see all the, the state semifinalists, all the state finals, all the appearances they've made at state, and it's just really, really impressive. As I walked by it this, this evening, I was very impressed with it. But the Hawks come in here 21-3 and overall, 10-0 and in the district. They are averaging over 12 runs a game while giving up just over two. So that's always a good recipe for success when you score that many more than the opposing team. And so they have done an outstanding job. They come in here on a 12-game winning streak. They shut out, actually run-ruled, their last two opponents. And we are getting started a little bit early this evening. 6.52 is the time here in the great Republic of Texas. We're going to get you a temp here at game time. Temp is 80 degrees. It says windy, and that's not a lie. The flags and the pennants are blowing pretty strongly. We'll see how that affects play tonight. We'll get the starting lineup set for you here as we get into it. Lineups, batting order for the Cohoma Bulldogs. Bryce Davis will lead it off and play short. Billy Bailey will be the pitcher and bat second. Ryan Shiflett will be the catcher, bat third. Josiah Patton will play first and bat cleanup. Wyatt Oden, he'll be over at second this evening and bat fifth. Jordan Gonzalez will be at third and bat sixth. Theranot will be the DH, and that's an interesting story. We'll share that with you here right directly. As the first pitch is on that outside corner for strike one. Lance and Moore will play left field and bat eighth, and then Braden Boaz will be out in right, and he will bat ninth. On the mound for the Hawks, Ogden Hallmark as he brought that first one. And that second pitch, swing and a miss on a pitch that appeared to be a little bit low and outside. But Hallmark induced Davis to swing, and so 0-2 the count now. Hallmark ahead in the count, gets the sign, comes set, delivers. That was low for ball one. On deck is Billy Bailey, the pitcher. And Hallmark steps off the mound for a moment. Scuffs his cleat in the dirt behind home. Or excuse me, behind the pitching mound. And they won two outside. Ball two, two balls and two strikes. This really is a nice facility out here. You don't see a lot of baseball field. Everybody's gone to that newfangled field turf. Out here in Wall, we still have dirt and real grass. Nice throwback, and that one's going to be grounded down to third. Braden up with it quickly, shoots it across to Hayes Wayman, and that is out number one for the Bulldogs. And this is a Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay. See there, nice, nice throw over from Braden. Was able to shoot down... Davis, and so now, with one away, stepping up to bat will be Billy Bailey, the pitcher. And the first pitch, swing through and a miss. Strike one. Give you the wall hawk 
who's in the field in just a moment as the 0-1 delivery swing through and miss or strike two. On the mound is Ogden Hallmark. Behind the plate is Gunnar Dillard. Over at first is Hayes Wayman. Matt Steen will be the second baseman. Luke Kemp, the shortstop. Caleb Braden will be at third. Garen Wiggins out in left. Hagen Barbie in center. And Kellen Oliver will be the right fielder. And the 0-2 is fouled off down that first baseline out of play. Giving it a look-see was Wayman as he trotted over to the fence and watched it hit the parking lot. Hopefully nobody's vehicle was hit by that. I have learned early in life to park as far away from the field as you can. The 0-2 delivery is outside, ball one. On deck, Ryan Shiflett, the catcher. One away here in the top of the first inning, the pitch. Big swing and a miss, and it's dropped for the moment, but up with it quickly is Dillard, and he shoots it down to first for out number two. Now for the Bulldogs, number three, Ryan Shifflett. Now Shifflett will step up to the plate. He behind the plate as the medical arts pharmacy replay. You just saw that. And now two away. The Hawks trying to retire the side in order. And that was strike one to Shiflet. <laughs> that one was thrown. And as Hallmark delivered on his follow-through, his hat flew off his head. Yeah, I'd say that wind's still blowing a little bit. Now the 0-1. Ooh, nice pitch on the inside corner for strike two called. Beautiful placement there by Hallmark as he was able to just put that right on that inside corner. And the 0-2. Misses outside for ball one, one and two the count. And the delivery to the plate. Catches that outside corner. He painted that one beautifully for strike three called. And that'll do it here in the top of the first inning for the Coloma Bulldogs. You're watching Wall Hawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. As you watch the Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay, we'll be back after this. Check out why First Community Federal Credit Union is the number one local auto lender in the Concho Valley. With new, used, or refinanced autos, we can save you money. First Community has great payment options and low prices on GAP, extended warranty, and credit life insurance, so we can make your payment fit your budget. So be smart, bank smart, and contact First Community today for your auto financing needs. Since 1957, Medical Arts Pharmacy has been your neighborhood professionals, welcoming you when you come in and delivering when you can't. Through all the advancements in medicine, therapies, and equipment, Medical Arts has grown with you to make sure your family has the very latest in care. Today, we can offer you immunizations, all of your medicines and special multi-dose packaging, and compounding right here in your neighborhood pharmacy, where some things have changed with the times, but the best things never will. Medical Arts Pharmacy. First Community Federal Credit Union's Platinum Visa is a giant of a credit card. With great low rates, no annual fee, no balance transfer fee, and even a rewards option, First Community's Platinum Visa is the card for you. With security as a high priority, you can lock your card in case it's lost, stolen, or just to limit its use. So be smart, bank smart with First Community Federal Credit Union's Platinum Visa. And welcome back to Wallhawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. 
Fans, if you want to keep up with all Concho Sports Network broadcasts and all your favorite teams, the best way is to follow us on our website at conchosports.com and on social media. We're on Facebook, X, formerly known as Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Concho Sports. Also, be sure to install the Concho Sports Network, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV apps to watch these games on your TV. Let's go ahead and give you the Wall Hawk starting batting order here tonight. Kellen Oliver will lead it off. He's out in right field. Ogden Hallmark is on the mound. He'll bat second. Gunnar Dillard behind the plate. He will bat third. Caleb Braden will clean it up tonight and play third. Luke Kemp is out at short, and he will bat fifth. Matt Steen, the second baseman, will bat sixth. Garen Wiggins out in left field will bat seventh. Hagen Barbie in center field will bat eighth. And then Hayes Wayman over at first will bat ninth. And so now Oliver will step in, the lefty, to face Billy Bailey will give you the starting lineup. Those in the field for the Coahoma Bulldogs here in just a moment. As Oliver steps in, his Hawk team is dangerous at the plate as that one's on that outside corner for strike one called. In the field for the Bulldogs, Billy Bailey on the mound, Ryan Schliffett behind the plate, Josiah Patton at first, Wyatt Odin, excuse me, at second as that one misses for ball one. Bryce Davis at short. Jordan Gonzalez will play third. Lanson Moore in left field. Jesse Hernandez in center. And then Braden Boaz is out in right. And the 1-1 pitch now. Misses low. Ball two. Two balls and a strike now. To Oliver on deck is Ogden Hallmark. And now the wind and the pitch. Oliver, big swing and a miss as he swung through that one. And the 2-2. Two -two. Way outside for ball three. Now the count runs full. And Oliver looking for something in the zone here. And he's going to chop that one down to first. That's foul. Just outside the bag. So Oliver will step back in. This Wallhawk team, as I started to mention a minute ago, they're very, very dangerous at the plate. As I mentioned, averaging over 12 runs a game. And that was way outside for ball four. And Oliver tosses the bat and will trot down to first. Like and uh, if you're any kind of a baseball fan, you know that 12 runs a game is absolutely astronomical. That was a pack saddle barbecue walk. And now Oliver down there at first. He gets his lead as Ogden Hallmark will step in. Allmark taking his time, prepping the area in the batter's box from that right-handed side of the plate. And Bailey steps off the rubber now and looks over at first. And everybody retreats, and we get set again. Josiah Patton holding Oliver on over at first. And Oliver breaks for second, and that was that sacrifice bunt attempt fouled off at the plate for strike one. Owen won the count now. Hawks looking to jump on the Bulldogs early here from the nest in Wall, Texas. Now the 0-1 delivery as Oliver gets a lead again. And Oliver bluffs going to second. And Bailey takes his foot off the rubber and Oliver retreats back to first. On deck, Gunner Dillard, the catcher. Throw over to first. Oliver slides back in safely. And Oliver, one more time, getting that lead. And the pitch, outside corner. Strike two. Oh, and two the count. Both of these pitchers so far are hitting those corners really well 
painting that outside corner and that inside corner. Oliver breaks for second. The throw down to first isn't going to be anywhere near in time, and Oliver slides in with a stolen base. And that's a medical arts pharmacy replay, instant replay as you see it. The th even the throw was high, but I don't think a good throw would have got Oliver. He had a great jump on that one, had that one stolen from the get-go. So now he gets a lead down there at second. Creeping in behind him is Bryce Davis. That one's going to be popped up in the infield. It's going to fall, and that's a little infield single off the bat of Gunnar Dillard. So... Up your wall, Hawk, the catcher, number wow. 24, Gunner, or excuse me, off Hog, Ogden, Hallmark, excuse me, I'm getting ahead of myself here. That was Hallmark with a little bloop single, infield single there, and now Gunner Dillard will step to the plate. Forgive me, folks, I'm, it's been a minute since I've kept book and <laughs> did baseball at the same time, and now the Bulldogs bring the first baseman in on the grass. Josiah Patton comes in, and the infield creeps in just a hair. Middle infielders at double play depth, and that first pitch to Dillard is in there. Strike one. And now both Oliver and Hallmark get their leads now. That one's fouled off down that third baseline for strike two. Count no balls and two strikes. Everybody retreats, reset. We get ready to do this again. Dillard at the plate. Caleb Braden, the third baseman, waits on deck in the cleanup spot. And that one's going to be smacked into the gap between center and right. That'll score one across the plate and an RBI double off the bat of Gunnar Dillard. So the Hawks strike early now. Your loss. Number three, Caleb Braden. And lead 1 0 as you see the Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay. So the Hawks strike early now and still nobody out. And they lead 1 0 runners in scoring position at second and at third. And Caleb Braden, the cleanup hitter at the plate, he takes strike one. Bailey in a bit of a dilemma here as he has runners at second and third. One across already in the heart of the Hawk order awaits. And that is misses the zone for ball one. One and one the count. That one's fouled off. Out of play down that third baseline over by the Hawk trailer where they sell wall hawk gear and accessories now the count remains one ball two strikes the pitch from bailey he wanted it checked it good thing he did because that was low and inside and now bailey appears a little frustrated out there on the mound as he now has a 2-2 count to gunner dillard or excuse me braden excuse me braden and Luke Kemp waits on deck as that one misses for ball three. And now the count runs full. He got Caleb Braden. Now you have to bring him something unless you're just going to go ahead and put him aboard. And the payoff pitch. Big swing and a miss by Braden. And he strikes out for out number one. And that will bring Luke Kemp to the plate. That was a pack saddle barbecue strikeout. And the first pitch to Kemp. Way outside. He gets past the catcher to the plate. The throw. No, not in time. And sliding in safe was Hallmark for the second run in the inning. On the, on the wild pitch, Dillard moves up to third. So the Hawks with two across now as the Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay 
It didn't get too far past the catcher. Shiflet didn't make a good throw as Hallmark or Bailey, excuse me, was charging in to field it. And Shiflet did not get him the ball in time and coming across to score was Ogden Hallmark. Now, 2 0 the count outside to Kemp. Three balls, no strikes, one away, two across for the Hawks, and one still aboard. That hits the dirt in front of the plate, and that's going to put Luke Kemp aboard. And that'll bring the second baseman, Matt Steen, to the plate. Fans discover the future of personalized health care at Medical Arts Pharmacy. They're proud to introduce their new compounding services tailored to your unique needs. Trust Medical Arts for precision, quality, and care. Experience the difference at Medical Arts Pharmacy today. Give them a call at 325-949-4636. Your health, their priority. And if you see that young lady named Alicia down there, tell her I said hello. Of course, that'd be kind of weird if you just walked in and asked for Alicia and said hello. Some dude on the live stream said, tell you hello. Of course, she knew right away who it is. And I'd get a text later. Dad, quit telling people to mention my name. 2-0 the score. As two aboard for Wall here in the bottom of the first. Still only one away as Matt Steen, the second baseman, stands in. Oh, now, the, now they got Kemp caught in a rundown. And that's going to score... Dillard from third for that third run, but that will put an out on the board. So the Bulldogs do record a second out, but do allow Dillard to score from third. And so now the bases are clear. There's two away, and Steen facing still no, no count to Steen. So Bailey now rocks and fires and comes to the plate. Outside as that one bounced way in that left-handed batter's box, as Bob Euchre would say, just a bit outside. One ball, no strikes the count. That was, ooh, that was inside corner. That strike zone just got exponentially larger on that one. However, comma, one ball, one strike. 3 nothing. the Hawks lead here in the bottom of the first inning. And that one was definitely, he plunked him in the back of the, looked like his back shoulder, maybe his back left shoulder. And that'll put another runner aboard as Steen is hit by a pitch and trots down to first. And Garen Wiggins will step to the plate. And that one's fouled off to the net. Wouldn't won the count now to Wiggins. And Bailey fires, and that one's way outside. And the pitch misses for ball two. Two balls and a strike now. Hagen Barbie waits on deck. Should Wiggins get aboard? And now the throw down to second as Matt Steen stole that base. The throw was way off line, and good job by Jesse Hernandez out there in center and Wyatt Oden out there backing that throw up, keeping it from going too far into center field and keeping Steen there at second after that stolen base. That's on that inside corner for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Hawks already with three across here in the bottom of the first inning, looking for more as they got Steen down there at second. And that one's going to 
be in the dirt and get past Shiflet to the wall. And that'll move Steen to third. And Wiggins will trot down to first on ball four. So now Hagen Barbie, the center fielder, will step in. On a pack saddle barbecue walk. Every time they hold in a walk a lot, because every time I mention a pack saddle barbecue walk, I get hungry. We still got eight more innings to play. And once again, the, the pickoff play is successful. And that will score another run from third. And that will count. That run will count as Wiggins is picked off. But a fourth run comes across. And the Wall Hawks lead four to nothing as we get ready to watch this Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay. And you see the tag out there. But on that play, Steen did score from third. And so Wall will go to top of the second. Leading 4 nothing. you're watching Wall Hawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. Since 1957, Medical Arts Pharmacy has been your neighborhood professionals, welcoming you when you come in and delivering when you can't. Through all the advancements in medicine, therapies, and equipment, Medical Arts has grown with you to make sure your family has the very latest in care. Today, we can offer you immunizations, all of your medicines and special multi-dose packaging, and compounding right here in your neighborhood pharmacy, where some things have changed with the times, but the best things never will. Medical Arts Pharmacy. First Community Federal Credit Union's Platinum Visa is a giant of a credit card. With great low rates, no annual fee, no balance transfer fee, and even a rewards option, First Community's Platinum Visa is the card for you. With security as a high priority, you can lock your card in case it's lost, stolen, or just to limit its use. So be smart, bank smart with First Community Federal Credit Union's Platinum Visa. Welcome back to Wallhawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. The Hawks already, we mentioned in the pregame, how they have pretty much had their way at the plate all year long, and we'll get into a little bit of that here in a minute, but they've already put four across in the bottom of the first inning and will now try to retire the Bulldogs in order as coming to the plate will be Josiah Patton, the first baseman. Wyatt Oden, the second baseman, is on deck. And then Jordan Gonzalez, the third baseman, will be in the hole. Something something a little unusual about the Coahoma Bulldogs. They're batting their pitcher and a DH, and the center fielder is not in the batting order. So kind of an unusual play, but here we are. As the first pitch from Hallmark is outside to Patton, ball one. And the 1 0. Swing through and a miss by Patton for strike one. And the 1 1. Outside corner, strike two. The Hawks are on a 12 game winning streak and they've allowed eight total runs in their last eight contests. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Is that. Oh, they punched him out for a pack saddle barbecue strikeout. Patton strikes out on that one looking. I will say that strike zone is a little, little wide tonight. Just a bit wide as. But as long as he's consistently calling that, I'm okay with it. Just be consistent with it. And now stepping in is Wyatt Oden, the second baseman. Allmark gets ready to bring this one to the plate. Outside. Oden wanted it for a minute and pulled the bat back. and was wise that he did so. And that one missed somewhere for ball ball two. 
Two balls, no strikes. And the 2-0 pitch. And that's on that outside corner for strike one. Two and one to count now. Hawks bring their outfield in a step or two. Is that one's going to be outside for ball two, or excuse me, ball three. Yes, three one the count. On deck is Jordan Gonzalez, the third baseman. And the three one. That one's, oh, beautiful grab down there at third base by Caleb Braden as Wyatt Odin is retired. Five unassisted. Braden came off the bag on this Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay. You can see it looked like that was going to get through into left field, and Braden just moved to his left, leapt, grabbed it, and was retired. Retired the batter now. Two away. Beautiful. Catch there by Braden. And now stepping to the plate is Jordan Gonzalez, the third baseman. Hallmark delivers. That one's fouled off to the net. Strike one. Already knows and Hallmark's having a little bit of difficulty keeping that hat on. It's like the second or third time he's come off his head on his follow through. You know, he's really giving it his all when that hat comes off. Now the 0 1 delivery. Outside, ball one. And the one one, fouled off to the net. Hey fans, check out why First Community is the number one local auto lender. With great rates on new, used, or refinance autos and a variety of payment options, they can help make your payment fit your budget. Be smart. Bank smart. Apply online at 1cfcu.org or give them a call, 325-653-1465. Rates and terms based on approved credit. And the count now, one ball, two strikes. Two away here in the top of the second. Oklahoma needing base runners, needing something as that one's chopped foul at the plate. Already in a 4-0 hole to the Hawks here at the Nest on the campus of Wall ISD in Wall, Texas. Always like coming out here to do broadcasts. So quiet, peaceful out here. Love it. And the 1-2 with two away. High, ball two. As Theranaut, the designated hitter, waits on deck. Swing and a miss for strike three. And that'll do it for the Bulldogs here in the second as they go one, two, three in order. We go to bottom of two as you look at the Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay with your Wall Hawks leading four nothing. Nice pitch. Blew it right by him. You're watching Wallhawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. We'll see you after the break. Check out why First Community Federal Credit Union is the number one local auto lender in the Concho Valley. With new, used, or refinanced autos, we can save you money. First Community has great payment options and low prices on GAP, extended warranty, and credit life insurance, so we can make your payment fit your budget. So be smart, bank smart, and contact First Community today for your auto financing needs. Since 1957, Medical Arts Pharmacy has been your neighborhood professionals, welcoming you when you come in and delivering when you can't. Through all the advancements in medicine, therapies, and equipment, Medical Arts has grown with you to make sure your family has the very latest in care. Today, we can offer you immunizations, all of your medicines and special multi-dose packaging, and compounding right here in your neighborhood pharmacy, where some things have changed with the times, but the best things never will. Medical Arts Pharmacy. And welcome back to Wallhawks Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. 
Leading off for the Hawks in the bottom of two, number 15. Hagen. The Hawks will send Hagen Barbie to the plate. The center fielder is, he was at bat when Garen Wiggins was picked off in the bottom of the first inning. So he'll reset, restart, get him a nice fresh new count. And he squares to bunt, pulls the bat back. It's outside ball one. And the 0-1 delivery. Misses. Ball two. So the 2-0 count now. And the pitch. Way outside for ball three. Three balls, no strikes now. As Hagen Barbie will most likely put that bat on his shoulder. See if he hits a green light with a 3-0 count. Outside corner. Strike one. And now that prototypical hitter's count. Three balls, one strike. Let's see, does he get something to hit? Way outside for ball four. And Barbie will trot down to first. That is a pack saddle barbecue walk. And that will bring Hayes Wayman, the first baseman, to the plate. As he will step in now with one aboard. Nobody out. After Wayman, we're back to the top of the order and Kellen Oliver. And Barbie now takes off as that one's popped into left field. Coming in is Lance and more and more. Unable to come up with it. It's going to roll to the wall. Rounding for, uh, second is Barbie. Barbie's coming home. Here comes the throw. And it's not going to be in time. And Barbie is going to score on that one. Not sure how they're going to rule that, but that... Out of the plate for the Hawks, number nine, Kellen Oliver. And back to the top of the order for the Hawks as they now lead five to nothing. And Kellen Oliver trying to see, is that going to be ruled a single and an error? But Oliver will step in. And Oliver really hugs that plate. He really gets all the way over in that left-handed batter's box. And he goes with it and goes oppo. Down that left field line, foul for strike one. And Oliver now is going to smack that one into center field and quickly up with it is Jesse Hernandez. And he brings it quickly to the cutoff man. And stopping at third is Hayes Wayman. Out of the plate, your pitcher number two, Ogden Hallmark. And Kellen... Oliver with a single. And so now the Hawks threatening once again as they have runners at first and third with nobody out in the heart of their order. Due up is Ogden Hallmark. The pitcher will bat and then Gunnar Dillard on deck and Caleb Braden in the hole. So you're two, three, four hitters with two aboard and one already across. And the Hawks threatening again to break this one even further. More wide open than it is now. And so that was kind of a nice move by Bailey as he stepped off, bluffed to throw to third, and breaking for second was Oliver, who quickly came to a halt and retreated to first. So Bailey brings it to the plate. Off on the pitch was Oliver, but it's fouled to the net, so Oliver will have to retreat back to first. Trying to see, was that ruled an error on that last one? In right, a single. I think I'd give him a. S well, we're still debating that up here in the <laughs> with the official score. <laughs> so we'll give him a single and an, uh, maybe an error on the throw home. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's five nothing. Wall leads as that one's outside, and Oliver's going to trot down to second for the moment. The throw is going to go through into center field, and that's going to score Hayes Wayman from third on another error by the Kohoma Bulldogs. And so on that, Oliver goes to second, and the Hawks now lead six nothing.
Hallmark steps back in with a 1-1 count. And that's off the wall all the way to the fence. Here comes one to score and an RBI double now by Ogden Hallmark as he brings in yet another run, and the Hawks now lead 7-0. The Hawks starting to pour it on here from the nest and lead 7-0. As you see the Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay, that one got to the wall, and Hallmark never stopped. He just kept right on motoring to second, and Oliver scored on that RBI double, and that will bring Gunnar Dillard to the plate. Dillard doubled and scored back in that first inning. And now the count. It's a strike to Dillard. And breaking for third was Hallmark, and the throw squirts out of the glove of Jordan Gonzalez, and Hallmark scores. Now the runs just open. The floodgates have opened, and runs are scoring at will for the Hawks. As you see the Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay, the throw was right on target to Gonzalez, and Gonzalez just pretty much ice cream coned it right out the top of his glove, and that brought... Hallmark all the way across the plate for the seventh, or the eighth, excuse me, Wall Hawk run here in this one, the fourth in this inning. So now the count, two balls and two strikes. A lot happening here. We're trying to stay up with it for you, <laughs> keep everything together here as all four batters that have reached this inning have already scored. And the count, two balls, two strikes to Dillard. And misses for ball three. And now the count runs full as... Bailey out there struggling here in the second inning. He's already given up eight runs on five hits and four errors. Now the pitch. Fouled to the wall. The wall and wall. I like that one. I remember that one. Count remains. <laughs> Three balls, two strikes. Full count to Dillard as Caleb Braden waits on deck. Oh, that was right there. That was a nice pitch for strike three. And that is a pack saddle barbecue strikeout. And that'll bring Caleb Braden to the plate. Braden struck out in the first inning, but the first out of the inning. Trying to get in on the hit parade for Wall this evening. His first pitch to him is low and outside for ball one. One ball, no strikes. And that one's fouled off to the net. Hey, fans, visit Pack Saddle Barbecue for the best barbecue in West Texas. They have the best burgers, steak fingers, and fried catfish. Oh, and don't forget that peach cobbler. Come see them today at 6007 Knickerbocker Road in San Angelo. And if you ask my wife, she'll swear by that catfish. She loves that catfish at, at Pack Saddle. Now the 1-1. One, one. The pitch is low outside for ball two. Or ball, yep, ball two. There it is. Sorry. little... A little faster on my counts. Now the 2-1 delivery. And that's going to be grounded down that third base line on a check swing. The throw across, and that'll do it as Braden is retired 5-3 to three on the ground out for out number two. Nice play down there. You can see this on the Medical Arts Pharmacy Instant Replay as Gonzalez redeemed himself somewhat after that throw down there that got away from him. Up with it quickly. Shot it across to first. And Josiah Patton got his foot on the bag for the second out in the inning. So Braden now 0 for 2 on the evening. That'll bring Luke Kemp, the shortstop, to the plate. Kemp walked and then was picked off first, caught in a rundown. 1-0 pitch outside, ball 2. 
On deck, should Kemp get aboard, is Matt Steen, the second baseman. That one's fouled back. 2-1 the count. And here comes the delivery. Outside corner for strike two called. It's a very generous strike zone today. I think I'm being generous by saying that. And that's fouled back to the net. Count remains two balls, two strikes. And stepping back in is... Kemp, Bailey looks in, gets the sign. Nobody aboard for the Hawks. They've pushed four across this inning. A swing and a miss, and that'll do it. Out number three as Kemp goes down swinging for out number three. So the Hawks put four across before an out was recorded, and then two more, and we go to the top of the third with the Hawks leading 8 nothing. You're watching Wallhawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. And welcome back to Wallhawks Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. I'm Russ Howard, bringing you the play-by-play -play from the nest here in Wall America. I want to say a special thanks to Shay Harris for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Appreciate it. Haven't been, done a lot of baseball this year, so really appreciate that. So the Hawks leading 8 to nothing here as we start the top of the third. Theron Ott. Ott, the designated hitter, will lead it off. Lance and Moore on deck. Braden Boaz is in the hole. And so far, Ogden Hallmark, pretty decent pitching performance out here this evening. On a beautiful West Texas evening. Just a slight wind, although I guess it's still, looking at the pennants, it's still blowing pretty good. But we don't really feel it up here as that hits, hits that outside corner for strike one. We're in the press box where there's little to no air, but uh, yeah, we appreciate the little breeze that we do get occasionally. And the ones in the stands are probably thinking, man, I wish that wind would stop. We're up here wishing it would kick, pick up, blow through here a little bit. <laughs> the count, no balls and a strike as Ott gets ready and Hallmark gets the sign. Delivers. Outside. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. To Ott. Braden in at third, even with the bag. Everybody else pretty much normal depth, as that one now is in the dirt. It's the first really bad throw I've seen Hallmark make tonight. He's been all around that plate pretty much all night long. That one was in that left-handed batter's box in the dirt and low for ball yeah. Two, two balls, two strikes. And Hallmark gets the sign and delivers. Big swing and a miss, and Ott will go sit down as he is the one, two, three, fifth strikeout of the night for Hallmark. And
And now Braden Boaz steps in. And Hallmark delivers to the plate. And that one's popped high in the air. Going back is Garen Wiggins. Settles under it. Calls for it. Catches it for out number two. For the Bulldogs, number four, Jesse Hernandez. And now Jesse Hernandez will step into the plate. With two away here for the Bulldogs in the top of the third. Called strike one. And the pitch. Outside, low, gets to the wall. And the count now even at one ball, one strike. Omar gets back on the mound, gets the sign. Comes to the plate. Outside, ball two. Two balls and a strike from Hallmark. For Hallmark, excuse me. He rocks and fires to the plate inside. And that clipped Hernandez. And he'll trot down to first. And that's the first base runner of the night for the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs number one, shortstop Bryce Davis. And we'll go back to the top of the order. Bryce Davis, who was retired five to three in the first inning, will step in. And Hallmark checks the runner at first. Comes to the plate. Outside corner for strike one. Folks, Luke Cage is changing the game in school spirit and fundraising. With same-day pickup, there's no more waiting three weeks for your order when you could have it for the next game. From large to small, they have it all. They stock from youth extra small to 6L, XL sizes. As that one is there for strike two. Visit lukescage.com to order or visit the store and try before you buy. So when they say 6XL sizes, they mean Russell sizes. So, yeah, they have it all over there at Luke's Cage. Go check them out. The count now, no balls and two strikes to Davis. Hallmark looks over his shoulder at the runner, comes to the plate. Swing and a miss, and that'll do it as Davis is retired swinging and the Bulldogs get a base runner, but ultimately unable to do anything with it. We'll go to bottom of three with your Wall Hawks still leading 8 nothing. You're watching Wall Hawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union.
And welcome back to Wallhawks Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. And Matt Steen, the second baseman, will lead it off here as we start the bottom half of the third inning. He was hit by a pitch and came around to score in that first inning. Had a stolen base as well. He takes strike one. And the 0-1. Outside. Ball one. One ball, one strike to count. That was popped straight up in the air. Is it going to get out of play? Giving chase over is Ryan Shiflett, Billy Bailey, the pitcher, came over. Josiah Patton had a look, and it dropped in between all three of them. So one of those ones that uh, the three-way, you do it. No, you take it. No, you take it. And nobody ultimately gets it. So it's just strike two, and the count one ball, two strikes now. Garen Wiggins on deck, the left fielder, and Hagen Barbie in the hole here in the bottom of the third inning. That one's fouled off. Count remains one ball, two strikes. And the one, two. Oh, outside corner, and they call that strike three. And Matt Steen goes down looking. And that'll bring Garen Wiggins, who walked and was retired in a rundown to end that first inning. He'll step in now. That is the fourth strikeout on the day for Billy Bailey. He's given up eight runs, but he hasn't been assisted much as now two errors have been committed by the Bulldogs in the field. And that one bounced away. As I'm sitting here giving him accolades, he <laughs> bounces that one like six feet in front of home plate. Not been helped out there as much. The Hawks leading eight to nothing here in the bottom of the third, one away in the pitch. Wiggins is going to go to center field with that one. Hernandez camps under. It's going to glove it for out number two. Out of the plate for your Hawks center fielder, number 15, Hagen Barbie. That'll bring Hagen Barbie. Barbie walked in the second and came around to score the fifth run for Wall. So he'll step up as you see this. Watch the Medical Arts Pharmacy Instant Replay. Mentioned that uh, Matt Steen was a Pack Saddle Barbecue strikeout. One batter a go. So Bailey rocks and fires. That misses. Ball one. On deck is Hayes Wayman. Should Barbie get aboard, Wayman will step in and try to keep this inning going. The count one ball, no strikes. Yep. Strike one call to Barbie. He took like he or looked like he checked his swing, but not in time. And so now strike two. Barbie now. Count twos across the board, two balls, two strikes, two away. The pitch outside ball three. So Barbie's worked that count full now. And the payoff pitch coming from Billy Bailey as he takes a moment, walks off the back side of the mound, gets ready, and the pitch inside and low, ball four. And now Barbie draws a two out walk. And that'll bring Wayman to the plate. Wayman singled in that second inning and came around and scored the sixth Hawk run. As the dulcet tones of Big Iron by Marty Robbins rings out across the baseball diamond here at the Nest. Love that walk-up song. And that one is outside, breaking for second now. <laughs> Was... Hagen, Barbie, and Barbie's in there with a stolen base. Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay. You see the pitch, and there goes Barbie breaking for second. The throw 
just a bit offline on the first base side and a little high. Otherwise, they might have had Barbie as that one's going to get past Shiflet and Barbie's going to trot over there to third. So Barbie moves up on the wild pitch. Now the Hawks threatening again with a runner at third, two away here. Little known fact about Marty Robbins, the singer of that last walk-up song. Also, spent a little time driving in NASCAR, the Grand National Series. A lot of people don't know that, as that one's fouled off down that third baseline. Grand National, the second-tier series in NASCAR, now called the Xfinity Series. And there's your NASCAR trivia for the night. Write that down, kids. There'll be a test later. Count now. Two balls, two strikes, two away. Runner at third for the Hawks. Trying to push across that ninth run here from the nest. And the 2-2 two -two delivery. Outside, ball three. So now the count runs full. To Hayes Wayman. And the payoff pitch coming. Wayman gets that one into left field, and that's going to drop right in front of Lanson Moore. And Wayman with an RBI single. Out of the plate for your Wall Hawks. Right fielder number nine, Kellen Oliver. And so now, back to the top of the order, and Kellen Oliver steps in. Oliver is one for one with a walk and a couple of runs scored and a stolen base tonight. And he swings on that first one, fouls it off down that third base line. Oliver walked, stole second, came around to score in the first. Singled, came around to score in the second. Now trying to keep this one alive as the Hawks now lead 9-0. And the 1-1. And that one's crushed into left field. Coming on is Lance and Moore. That's going to fall in front of him. And Oliver has a single. Moving down to second at Hayes Wayman. Fans discover the future of personalized health care at Medical Arts Pharmacy. They're proud to introduce their new compounding services tailored to your unique needs. Trust Medical Arts for precision, quality, and care. Experience the difference at Medical Arts Pharmacy today. Give them a call at 325-949-4636. Your health, their priority. So now two away, two aboard, one across, and... Ogden Hallmark, the pitcher, takes strike one. Hallmark is two for two on the day with a couple of runs scored. Singled in the first and scored. Doubled in the second and scored. Heyman, or Wayman, excuse me, down there at second, let... Had a two-out single, and then Oliver with a two-out single. And that one's going to be grounded. That's going to get into right field. Or it's actually going to be gloved by Odin, but he has absolutely no play. And now the Hawks have juiced the bases. Nowhere to go as the Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay. Number 24, Gunner Dillard. You can see it went off the glove of Bailey. He made a valiant attempt to glove that, was unable to come up with it. And then Odin out there at second. Kept it from getting into the right field and probably saved a run on that one because if it got past him, pretty sure that Wayman was going to score on that one. Gunner Dillard now will step in. Take ball one. Dillard. One for two, he doubled home a run in the first and scored and then struck out looking in the second. Now trying to keep this alive as he in 
walks up with a bases loaded opportunity and two away. The Hawks with one across here in the third. They lead nine nothing. That's there for strike. One, two balls and a strike now. Four runs in the first, four in the second, one here in the third for Wall. Dillard steps out for a moment, steps back in on deck. Caleb Braden, should Dillard be able to do something as that's on that inside corner? Nice little breaking ball right there. Two balls, two strikes, two away. So two's across the board for Wall as they pushed one across, looking to get a Another run or two here as that one's high. And now the count runs full to Dillard and nowhere to put him for Billy Bailey. You've got to bring something here because you have absolutely nowhere to put Dillard right now. When I say nowhere, I mean absolutely nowhere. Now the pitch. Dillard crushes that one to center field. Drifting back is Jesse Hernandez. It is Gone! Grand slam home run by Gunnar Dillard. The grand salami Dillard took that one to almost straightaway center field as that one kept carrying and carrying and carrying and carrying until it cleared that wall out there in right center field. And Dillard now cleans it up. And the Wall Hawks jump out to a 13 to nothing lead. What a slam by Gunnar Dillard. A grand slam home run. My, oh, my, what a shot that was. Dillard said, I'm going to take this one out of here. And, boy, I'll tell you what, he sure did. Hey, let's see where we're at here. Got to get, get my head back in order here <laughs> as Caleb Braden steps in. Caleb is 0 for 2 on the night. He struck out in the first and was retired 5 to 3 in that second inning. Dillard with that grand salami just he actually cranked it. I kept I thought Hernandez was going to run under it and he just kept carrying and carrying and carrying and just got out of here. And that was in there for strike 1. One ball and one strike now. <laughs> and I know I'm probably annoying people in this small press box up here, but I just get carried away with a grand slam. I can, this is one of the things that just really, really, really gets you going in the game of baseball, game that I love, love baseball. 13 nothing the Hawks lead as that one's taken to left field and Lanson Moore will camp under it and glove it for out number three. But in the inning, off the back of a grand slam by Gunnar Dillard, the Wall Hawks now lead 13 to nothing. We'll go to the break. You're watching Wall Hawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. Community Federal Credit Union's Platinum Visa is a giant of a credit card. With great low rates, no annual fee, no balance transfer fee, and even a rewards option, First Community's Platinum Visa is the card for you. With security as a high priority, you can lock your card in case it's lost, stolen, or just to limit its use. So be smart, bank smart with First Community Federal Credit Union's Platinum Visa. Check out why First Community Federal Credit Union is the number one local auto lender in the Concho Valley. With new, used, or refinanced autos, we can save you money. First Community has great payment options and low prices on GAP, extended warranty, and credit life insurance, so we can make your payment fit your budget. So be smart, bank smart, and contact First Community today for your auto financing needs. Welcome back to Wallhawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union, as we listen to the greatest Metallica song ever. And I'll stand by that till the day I die. A lot of good ones out there, but Inner Sandman will always be my favorite. And why are we talking about that when well, we got a great game going on here at the Nest? Still love Inner Sandman. 13 0, your Wallhawks on top. Courtesy of a grand slam home run by Gunnar Dillard in that bottom of the third inning. Hawks scored four in the first, four in the second, five in the third. And have held Coloma to 
the goose egg so far. So we'll get it underway here in the top of the fourth inning with a 13-0 lead. And Ogden Hallmark pitching a gym out here so far. And Cohoma will send Billy Bailey, the pitcher, to the plate. Ryan Schiff will be on deck, and Josiah Patton awaits in the hole. So Bailey, he is 0 for 1 as he struck out in that first inning. As Hallmark adjusts his hat and his glove for a moment, gets back on the mound, gets the sign, and quickly delivers to the plate. Fouled off by Bailey. And now the count 0-1 to Bailey. And that one's fouled off down that first baseline, out of play for strike two. Braden even with the bag down there at third. The rest of the infield on just about on that outfield grass as that one's on that outside corner for strike three called. So Bailey strikes out for the second time tonight. And that's a pack saddle barbecue strikeout. And that'll bring Ryan Shifflett to the plate. And while we're talking about pack saddle barbecue, you can visit Pack Saddle Barbecue for the best barbecue in West Texas. They have the best burgers. Steak fingers and fried catfish. Oh, and don't forget that peach cobbler. Come see him today, 6007 Knickerbocker Road in San Angelo. It's Pack Saddle Barbecue. You won't be disappointed. As that first pitch misses the zone for ball one. Ryan Shiflett struck out looking in that first inning. He is 0 for 1 on the day. And Hallmark delivers. Misses. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Hallmark now gets the sign. Quickly delivers. That was right there for strike one called. Two balls and a strike. That's one thing about Hallmark. He likes to work quick. Once he gets that sign, he's... He's at the stretch, and he's delivering to the plate. No wasted motion whatsoever. That's in there for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. One away here for the Bulldogs. On deck, Josiah Patton, the first baseman. And the pitch is going to be grounded down there to Matt Steen. Steen up with it quickly over to first. And that's out number two as Shiflett is retired 4-3. You know, I think that's the first play that Steen's made tonight as far as in the field. As you can see this on the Medical Arts Pharmacy Instant Replay. That's how good a game Hallmark's been pitching out here tonight. Two away as the Hawks lead 13 to nothing. The Hawks 21 and 3 overall in the season. The Bulldogs 6 12 and 2 overall. And now the first pitch to Patton. Strike one. Patton struck out looking in the second inning. And now Hallmark quickly to the plate as Patton weakly waves at it. Or strike two. I went to the count with two away. Hallmark shifting his weight from foot to foot out there on the mound. Now he's got the sign, and there's that one low and outside. And I guess that one got away, back to the wall. And now for the moment, Dillard walks out to talk to Hallmark about halfway to the mound. Retreats behind the plate, gets ready. Perhaps they're discussing the nightly specials at Pack Saddle Barbecue. <laughs> One ball, two strikes the count. Two away, the pitch. Swing through and a miss. 
And Josiah Patton is retired for the third out in the inning. So the Bulldogs go one, two, three on the back of that Pack Saddle Barbecue strikeout. We'll go to break. You're watching Wallhawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. We'll see you after this. Who took over behind the plate? Did you see? And welcome back to Wallhawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. We have a pitching change as Ryan Shiflett takes over on the mound. He comes out from behind the plate to take over, and Colby Olivas will take over behind the plate, and that will bring Luke Kemp to the plate. Luke Kemp is 0 for 1 officially. He walked in the first, was picked off, and then he struck out in the second. So strike one to Luke Kemp. And the pitch. One ball, one strike now. On deck is Matt Steen as that one's cracked into yeah. five. Wow, wow, wow. My, oh, my. It's difficult to see you in the press box, but Luke Kemp takes that one downtown as well. And the Wall Hawks now lead 14 to nothing. My, oh, my. What a shot by Kemp as he cranked that one out of here and he scores the 14th. Hawk run here this evening. Wow. My, oh, my. Out of the plate for your Hawks, number four. <laughs> I just, I'm speechless. I this that was just, I mean, you saw Hernandez and Boaz out there in center and right, respectively. Just watch that one fall. As you see this on the medical uh, arts pharmacy instant replay, they just kind of trotted back and watched it sail away going bye-bye. My, oh, my. Medical Arts Pharmacy Instant Replay. You can see what happened there. And so now that one is way high and inside behind Matt Steen. And so Luke Kemp with a second home run for Wall tonight after Gunnar Dillard had a grand slam in that last inning, the bottom of the third. And that one's cranked. And that one's going to get into left field. And Lanson Moore up with it quickly. And Steen with a single. 
Now the play yeah. for the Hawks. Number six, Hudson Braden. And now it looks like a pinch hitter. Hudson Braden will step up for Garen Wiggins. And that was the Medical Arts Pharmacy Instant Replay. And so now Braden pinch hitting for Wiggins. Pitch outside and low. Ball one, one and oh. And the 1 0 delivery. Fouled. Ooh, fouled off that wall and it kicks back into play now. And the second baseman, Wyatt Odin, makes a nice little stab and throws it in and throws it past Ryan Shiflet. Shiflet just kind of hangs his head a little bit after that one. Now the count one ball, one strike, nobody out, one already across off the solo shot. From the bat of Luke Kemp. And now Matt Steen gets a lead from first. The throw over. <laughs> Steen's still over there talking to the first base coach as Shifflett was about to deliver. And now the one ball, one strike count. And that one's going to be fouled down that first base line out of play. Hagen Barbie scheduled to hit next. Trying to see if that's him down there. Now. Yep, Hagen Barbie in the on deck circle. With the lead like this, you wonder if there will be some substitutions. Two balls, two strikes to count now. The Hawks leading 14 to nothing. Nobody out. Runner aboard at first. One across already in this inning for Wall. Bottom of the fourth inning we're in at the moment. And the pitch outside for ball three. Count runs full. Shiflet now has surrendered a leadoff home run and a single after he came on to relieve Bailey. Beginning of this inning, and that one's inside, and it's going to be ball four regardless. And Braden will trot down to first. Now the play for your Hawks, the center fielder number fifteen, Hagen Barbie. Now Hagen Barbie will step in. Barbie has walked twice tonight. Barbie has scored twice as well, has a stolen base. And he takes strike one. Oh, and one the count. And now the 0 1 delivery from Shiflet as he checks the runner at second. Matt Steen getting his lead. Braden leads off of first. Pitch inside. It's going to get to the wall, and that's going to move the runners 90 feet along. As Steen moves to third, and Braden moves to second. So the Hawks with another scoring opportunity, threatening again. Barbie gets reset, and the 2-1 delivery misses. Ball three. Three-one the count now. 
And the pitch outside, and that's going to put Barbie aboard. So now the bases are loaded. Nobody out. One run already across for the Hawks, and Hayes Wayman will come to the plate. Actually, check that. Weston Scandalari will pinch hit for Hayes Wake Wayman. And Scandalari cracks that one into left field. One will score, and he has an RBI single. I'm still making notes over here, and he's already got himself an RBI single. So another run scores for Wall. And the bases are still loaded as Kellen Oliver comes to the plate. The Medical Arts Pharmacy Instant Replay. We missed a pack saddle barbecue walk just a moment ago as well. So the base is juiced. Nobody out. Two across here as the Hawks lead 15-0. They defeated this Oklahoma team back on the ninth by the same score of 15-0. Big swing and a miss by Scandalari. Excuse me. Oliver, I'm our, man, I'm so far behind now. This swing is just flying along here. That was Oliver swinging and missing. This swings again. And now the count, one ball, two strikes to Oliver. On deck is Trevor Wyatt. As Ogden Hallmark looks like he has, his night is done, at least from the plate. So time's called for the moment. A little bit of a witty comment from Blue behind the plate. I won't repeat it, but it was pretty funny, I got to say. You have to be, yep, it's one of those things. If you're not here, sorry. And now Oliver will go sit down as he strikes out for out number one in the inning. Pinch hitter now for Ogden Hallmark. And that one is high and gets to the wall, but not deep enough to get that run home from third. Trevor Wyatt now at the plate. The 1-1 one, one Excuse me, the 1 0 delivery swung on a miss. Now one ball, one strike. Got wholesale substitutions across the board now as the Hawks with a 15 0 lead. And Wyatt's going to crack that one into center field. And it's going to get over the head of Jesse Hernandez. That's going to score one and only one as everybody else holds up. I thought that was going to get to that wall. In center field as you watch the Medical Arts Pharmacy Instant Replay, but just got the one home as it took a hop off that grass and got past Hernandez, but he was able to run it down and hold it to one run. And now the Hawks leading 16 to nothing as Wyatt with an RBI single. And sorry, getting my whole score sheet caught up here. And Gunner Dillard steps in. Dillard is two for three on the day with that grand salami in that last inning as he takes strike one called. So how often do you see two grand slams back-to-back -back innings? We got the opportunity here as that one is wild and gets to the backstop, but no one's going anywhere. Gunner Dillard trying to do something not a lot of folks have done. He doubled and scored in the first, struck out looking in the second, then hit that monstrous grand slam in that third inning, and Dillard now pops that one 
into left field, and that's going to get past her, uh, excuse me, Moore, and that'll score just the one run as the Bulldogs run it down quickly. The Medical Arts Pharmacy Instant Replay. Out of the plate, number 13. And another RBI for Dillard. As the base is still loaded with Hawks. As they lead 17 to nothing. And that was a hit by pitch. Played for your Hawks, number 21, Luke Kemp. And another substitution is Dylan Getney was hit by the pitch. And will trot down to first and will score another Hawk run and now lead 18 to nothing. It's one of the most painful ways to get an RBI is to get a bases loaded hit by pitch. But it's an RBI nonetheless. And the Hawks leading 18 nothing as the infield drawn in for the Bulldogs. First and third. Second and short at double play depth. Hoping to turn it up. Play still only one away here in the bottom of the fourth. And Shiflet brings that one across for strike one. Two and one the count now to Luke Kemp who homered to start off this inning. So now the Hawks have batted around the order as Kemp comes back to the plate again. And Kemp draws a walk and another RBI in this inning. And the Hawks now lead 19 to nothing. Fans, if you want to keep up with all Concho Sports Network broadcasts and all your favorite teams, the best way is to follow us on our website at conchosports.com and on social media. We're on Facebook, X, formerly known as Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Concho Sports. Also, be sure to install the Concho Sports Network Roku and Amazon Fire TV apps to watch these games on your TV and strike one called to Matt Steen now batting as well for the second time in this inning. Steen singled and scored earlier in this inning, was hit by a pitch in the first, struck out in the third, and Steen's going to ground that one right down to Davis, who goes to second for one. And that will be all they get as yet another run comes in to score. Out of the plate for the Hawks, number five, Garen Wiggins. And now Garen Count now outside, ball two. Runners at first and third, seven across here in the bottom of the fourth for Wall as they now lead 20 to nothing. And the pitch. Outside, ball four, and trotting down to first is Garen Wiggins. Up to the Hawks, number 15, Hagen Barbie. And that'll load him up once again as Hagen Barbie comes to the plate.
Barbie now. Count one ball, one strike. Or two balls, one strike, excuse me. And we're trying to... A lot of substitutions going on here. We're trying to make sure we got all the right names and numbers. As Barbie now heading the count. Two balls, one strike. And ball four. Pack saddle barbecue walk. And that'll bring home another Hawk run. And it's now 21. Nothing. And that'll bring Hayes Wayman back to the plate. Wayman is two for two. A couple of singles and runs scored. And now time is called. And this has turned into, well, if you're a Wallhawk fan, you love this. If you're a Coloma Bulldog fan, you're probably not digging this a whole lot. <laughs> And that looks like there's going to be a pitching change for the Bulldogs as Shiflet could not get out of the inning and goes two-thirds of an inning. Number 11 on the mound for the Bulldogs. Warming up. And they'll bring the first baseman, Josiah Patton, over to pitch for Coahoma. Coahoma will now put their third pitcher in and hopefully try to get out of this inning as they now trail 20 to nothing. The Hawks with 20 runs on 13 hits, no errors, and Coahoma has no runs, and they've committed, well, four errors tonight. So want to just probably get on up out of here if you're the Bulldogs and live to fight another day. Score 21 to nothing. Hawks four in the first, four in the second, five in the third, and eight here in the fourth. They have hit two home runs today. The grand slam by Dillard in the third. The solo shot here in the fourth by Kemp. The Hawks have sent 9, 10, 11, 12 to the plate. And they're on their 13th batter here in the fourth inning. The Hawk the faithful, loving this here, and Wayman will come back to the plate. And that one in there for a strike one, no balls and a strike, two away. Bases juiced full of wall hawks. And the 0 1 delivery as <laughs> Wayman squares to bunt. And the batter is out as he bunted foul on. Did they say it hit him in play? Or bunted, bunted foul. Well, that'll do it. The Hawks do push across eight, leave the bases loaded, now lead 21. To nothing, you're watching Wallhawk Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. To the top of five we go. We'll see you after this. Since 1957, Medical Arts Pharmacy has been your neighborhood professionals, welcoming you when you come in and delivering when you can't. Through all the advancements in medicine, therapies, and equipment, Medical Arts has grown with you to make sure your family has the very latest in care. Today, we can offer you immunizations, all of your medicines and special multi-dose packaging, and compounding right here in your neighborhood pharmacy, where some things have changed with the times, but the best things never will. Medical Arts Pharmacy. First Community Federal Credit Union's Platinum Visa is a giant of a credit card. With great low rates, no annual fee, no balance transfer fee, and even a rewards option, First Community's Platinum Visa is the card for you. With security as a high priority, you can lock your card in case it's lost, stolen, or just to limit its use. 
So be smart, bank smart with First Community Federal Credit Union's Platinum Visa. Check out. And we return as we want to welcome you back to Wallhawks Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network, presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. And the Hawks having absolutely no problem here from the nest as they now lead 21 to nothing. Three touchdown lead for the Hawks out here. Hey, it's, uh, it's spring football time. I, I got nothing else. It's 21-0. I don't know what else to tell you. The Hawks, an offensive explosion out here this evening. And now on the mound for Wall, Gunnar Dillard comes out from behind the plate, takes the catching gear off, and he'll take the ball and take the mound as we enter the fifth inning. Should, should Wall hold this advantage they will run rule the Bulldogs. And Wyatt Odin will lead it off. The second baseman for Kohoma. Storyline on Hallmark. No runs, no hits. Went four innings. Did a really great job out there on the mound as that first pitch from Dillard catches that outside corner for strike one. The Hawks sent 14 batters to the plate that bottom of the fourth inning and pushed eight runs across. And the 0-1. Low. Ball one. And Kemp led that inning off with a solo shot. And it just snowballed from there. And eight runs later, a 21 nothing Wallhawk lead. Comment made by our producer. Said that if this, if this actually was football, it'd be triple digits. <laughs> and now the 2-1 delivery. Outside, ball three, excuse me, 3-1. Three, the count. And the 3 1 from Dillard. Hmm, outside. Ball four. And that'll be a walk for Odin. Only the second base runner for the Hawks. Or, excuse me, for the Kohoma Bulldogs tonight. Only the second one allowed by Wall. And so now Dillard will try to regroup as he'll face Jordan Gonzalez, the third baseman. Outside, ball one. Or, they call that a strike? Now the 1 0 delivery. Outside, throw down to first into right field. But. Good job over there by Kellen Oliver backing that one up. I thought that was going to the fence, but Oliver's quickly over there to back that one up and uh, stop that one going to the wall. The Hawk catcher came up out of his stance, was going to try to pick off Odin down there at first, but threw the ball into short right field. But no harm, no foul, as Odin's not going anywhere. He's still down there at first. And the 2-0. Inside and high. Ball three. So 3-0 -oh the count now. Hmm. As Jordan Gonzalez stands in. And the pitch. Nice breaking ball. Broke right over the heart of that plate for strike one. Look 
Theron Ott, the designated hitter, stands in the on-deck circle. And that was high and inside. And so now, two straight walks by Gunnar Dillard. And the Bulldogs with a chance. Now with nobody out, two runners aboard. And Theron Ott, the designated hitter, will step in. Kemp sneaking in behind the runner, and that one's going to go to the wall. And the throw to third is going to go into left field. But waiting there is Garen Wiggins. He comes up with it quickly, gets it back to the catch of the Medical Arts Pharmacy instant replay. You can see here the ball got past catcher. He went back to get it, threw down to third. Third and a good throw might have got the base runner. I I think that uh, Odin would have been shot down had that been a on target throw. But nevertheless, now we got time called. I'm not sure what's going on down here, but. We have time called, and now apparently, oh, is that blue? Is bleeding. Yep. So, uh, home plate umpire looks like he needs a little medical assistance, a little self-aid and buddy care, we used to call it. And play has come to a halt here. Folks, while we got a moment, Luke's Cage is changing the game in school, spirit wear, and fundraising. With same-day pickup, there's no more waiting three weeks for your order when you could have it for the next game. From large to small, they have it all. They stock from youth extra small to 6XL sizes. Visit lukescage.com to order or visit the store and try before you buy. And now Dillard taking some warm-up throws while they work on the home plate umpire. And now we have a beatbox going on here at the nest. <laughs> well, folks, we've, we've officially crossed the line now as we're just uh, having a good time here in the press box. Blue's getting some wound care, and Gunnar Dillard's taking warm-up throws, and we're just having a fun time. The audio system's not wanting to participate anymore. It's given up the ghost, too. It's like 21 nothing. I'm done. I think it left about an hour ago. <laughs> and we're back. So let's get this one going again as the Wall Hawks leading 21 nothing over the Coahoma Bulldogs in this District 3A game. 3A6 game. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> the count one ball, no strikes, and Dillard rocks and fires with runners at second and third. And he brings that in there for strike one. There and Ott, the DH at the plate. Inside. Ball two, two balls and a strike. And the pitch. Hey, you got it. Strike two. Nice pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Two Bulldogs on board at second and third. Nobody out here in the top of the fifth inning. And the pitch. Hey, got him as he rung him up on a called third strike. And that's one away. And now Braden Boaz will come. 
to the plate. Boaz is 0 for 1. He flied out to left field back in the third inning. And the pitch. Outside. On deck is the center fielder, Jesse Hernandez. One ball, one strike, one away now. As Braden Boaz gets set. Gunner Dillard gets the sign, comes to the plate, swing and a miss. As he blew that one right by him. One and two now. And the one two delivery from Dillard. Got him outside corner. Out number two. As Boaz four, is retired looking, and that'll bring Hernandez play. Hernandez, the first Bulldog base runner tonight, as he was hit by a pitch back in the third inning. It almost seems like a lifetime ago, that third inning. But uh, he was left stranded, and he swings and misses. It's strike one. On deck is Bryce Davis. Should Hernandez get aboard? Swing and a miss for strike two. No balls, two strikes. And now they got the runner, base runner at third, caught in a rundown, and that's it. That will do it for the fifth inning and for the ball game as the Wall Hawks will win this one in a route 21 to nothing. They run rule the Cohoma Bulldogs. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back and recap this. You're watching Wallhawks Baseball on Pixelcast Media's Concho Sports Network and presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. Out. Why First Community Federal Credit Union is the number one local auto lender in the Concho Valley. With new, used, or refinanced autos, we can save you money. First Community has great payment options and low prices on GAP, extended warranty, and credit life insurance, so we can make your payment fit your budget. So be smart, bank smart, and contact First Community today for your auto financing needs. Since 1957, Medical Arts Pharmacy has been your neighborhood professionals, welcoming you when you come in and delivering when you can't. Through all the advancements in medicine, therapies, and equipment, Medical Arts has grown with you to make sure your family has the very latest in care. Today, we can offer you immunizations, all of your medicines and special multi-dose packaging, and compounding right here in your neighborhood pharmacy, where some things have changed with the times, but the best things never will. Medical Arts Pharmacy. First Community Federal Credit Union's Platinum Visa is a giant of a credit card. With great low rates, no annual fee, no balance transfer fee, and even a rewards option, First Community's Platinum Visa is the card for you. With security as a high priority, you can lock your card in case it's lost, stolen, or just to limit its use. So be smart, bank smart with First Community Federal Credit Union's Platinum Visa. Hey fans, check out why First Community is the number one local auto lender with great rates on new, used, or refinanced autos and a variety of payment options. They can help make your payments fit your budget. So be smart. Bank smart. Apply online at 1cfcu.org or give them a call at 325-653-1465. Rates and terms based on approved credit. And tonight... Your Wall Hawks here at the Nest were able to absolutely dominate the Cohoma Bulldogs as they win in a route 21 to nothing. Some of the highlights, obviously, were Gunnar Dillard's grand slam home run in that third inning, and then, of course, that fourth inning where the Hawks pushed across eight runs, led by Luke Kemp's leadoff solo shot, and then a, what a 
pitching performance by Hallmark this afternoon or this evening, excuse me, as he did not allow a hit, allowed only one base runner, and so the Hawks remain undefeated in district play, moved to 11 and 0 in the district and moved to 22 and 3, ranked number 2 in the state in 3A. So, Wall, what a what a masterful performance here as they make yet another run to the towards the postseason, hopefully to make that deep run yet again and hopefully claim that elusive state championship once more. We want to thank you tonight for joining us here on Concho Sports Network, brought to you by Pixelcast Media and presented by First Community Federal Credit Union. We want to thank Damon for his work on camera. Damon Bell, Shea Harris, thank you, sir, for your production values out here this afternoon and evening. And I'm Russ Howard. We want to say thank you for watching. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Concho Sports Network. Take care.